Welcome back, everyone, with uh, Major League Gaming. So today, I want to talk to you guys about disabilities and independence, uh, which are basically two things that can be very hard to blend together. Now, as a person with, with a disability, I consider myself to be rather lucky to be a lot more independent than I originally thought I would be when I was a kid, mostly thanks to the hardships that I had to endure throughout my life. However, not everyone with a disability can easily obtain such, such a thing because depending on which disability you have and how it affects you, um, independence may not, may not always be a possibility for everyone. Now, keep in mind, there are a few key, key factors to point out when it comes to being disabled while trying to strive for, for independence. Now, I also want, to, also want to be very, very clear. Nothing was, was researched. What I'm about to mention is from my own perspective. So let me go down to the list. Number one, your disability means that life is hard in general. It's very self-explanatory. Um, I've said this many times in my other videos, but people with disabilities often have to wake up every day to face new and very tough challenges in life. And being disabled just sucks for the most part. Trust me, I know this. Number two, your disability may provide some sense of weakness or insecurity. As someone who has lived with this disability for 30 years now, there have been a lot of times where I had felt extremely insecure with myself because of what I have. This is not something that, I've said this before already, you, you should never laugh or even sneeze at because when you're disabled, it can, it can create some weaknesses, even for me and for a lot of other people who, who may have it worse than I do. Number three. The difficult challenges you face in life can be extremely discomforting. Pretty much everyone has experienced this at least once in their lives, but people like like me may have it a lot worse. And I'll, I'll explain why that is. <clears throat> when a challenge in life, it doesn't matter what kind of challenge you have to, to face that, that gets in your way, it forces those with special needs to think long and hard before conquering whatever life, life throws at them. I've had moments where I had to like think long and hard before trying to do something that I wanted to do with my life, uh, and that would be the, that, that would be streaming for one thing. When I was in college, streaming was something that I had to set aside to like to like really focus on school first, and I actually got very lucky at the very end when we moved to to a better place that I finally found the opportunity to actually. Live stream and to eventually start making some YouTube videos. Admittedly, maybe they're not the best YouTube videos that I've made in the world, but at least it's something that I'm that I've grown a lot more comfortable with ever since I became a streamer back in like 2018. So thank God for what I have done so far. And last but not least, being disabled means that you have to overcome a lot of hardships in life. Even the unnecessary ones can make it tough for anyone with special needs to live very comfortably. And oftentimes, people like myself especially, often need to get additional help when, when needed. And believe me, there have been many times where I had to go through this. When I was in, co when I was in college, I had to get like, a lot of help to help me get, get through, uh, through my classes. They actually had like, some, some special needs programs there. And I'm really thankful that I took the opportunity to get the help that I needed to help me get, get through college. It was, it was a very long struggle in life for me at the time, but at the end of the day, I'm really thankful that I got through it all if I had not get, get the help. So the, the, point, the point I'm trying to make here is that if you have, this, if you have a disability and you, and you want to get independence, um, it, it never hurts to get help when you need it the most because... Help, help is there for a reason, and it, it's better for us to take the opportunity to get the help that we need, rather than just ignore it, because it, it's not always going to be good to, like, to like think that we can do everything ourselves. There will be, be many times in life where you just have to get the help that, that you need to get through something. That way you, become, you can become a better person and be independent in the long run. That's just how it is. And I'm, I'm really lucky today that I am actually a lot, a lot more independent than I originally was before. And I, and, I, and I do hope to become a lot more dependent in the future, in the long run, even though it's going to be pretty difficult for me to do to obtain such a thing. But you just don't know what life's going to throw at you. So to anyone with a disability, 
watching this video, you're, you're not alone in this. I, I've, I've been through this myself, and I know a lot of people who have this was that, that may be worse than mine. It's not an easy life for any of us, but there's always going to be some light at the end of the tunnel. We just gotta, we just gotta like really, really fight hard for it. No matter what comes our way, that, that's all I can say to you guys. This is Majorly Gaming logging out. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.